All hail our great state. Peace and prosperity to our great mother land. I wish you happiness, health, and prosperity. Hurrah! Wow. That's disturbing. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Beholder 2, the beta. I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon. Um, first video went up, and you guys seemed to really enjoy it, so I'm glad you guys did. I'm honestly having a blast with this. This is completely different from the original game. And right now, I'm really liking it. I'm liking the freedom. Like, with the first game, it was great and everything, but you were kind of always confined to that one area. So here, there's just so many different things to do. And I was looking at this little inventory thing over here, by the way. And there's a map, so we could definitely eventually go to different places of the game, apparently, too. That being said, why is this over here, exclamation marked? Oh, there's a dude out there. Dude, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> okay, let's pop this open and see what this is all about. James Cunningham. I'm glad to see you, Evan. Do you remember me? Uh, no. I don't remember you. I'm an old friend of your father's, Evan. We were friends, and we worked together side by side for many years. I was a freaking visitor to your home. Don't you remember? Your mother used to make a fantastic rhubarb pies. She passed away a long time ago. Oh, I know. I was at her funeral. And at your father's, your father's funeral, too. Why didn't you tell me so I could say goodbye to him? I'm afraid your father's death is a complicated case. Someone at the top decided to close it quickly. That's why I came to you. We need to discuss your work. How's your first day going? Um, everything's changing quickly. Just a few weeks ago, I was planning to visit my father and introduce him to my family. In the end, I was late. Even for his funeral. I understand, Evan. Did you ever patch things up with him? No. I was late for that, too. I'm sorry. If I'd known it was that serious, I'd have arranged our appointment here much earlier. So it was you who arranged this transfer to the ministry? Oh, so you're the reason why I'm here. Okay. It was indeed. Though not because of your good looks, as I'm sure you've guessed. Are you here alone? Where's your family? All is well. They're with Miriam's parents in Reading. Reading? That place is full of coal mines and some pretty aggressive workers. Not the best place for a woman and her child. I realize that. I have to get the apartment ready for them as soon as possible. Alright, I'm ready to answer your questions. So ask about the dead, ministry of the apartment. Well, let's figure out about my father's dead here first. James, do you know anything about my father's dead? Not much. The floor managers were involved somehow. That's all I know, and I can't conduct a full investigation. But why? After all, investigations are what you and your division do. Evan, I, the only insider I had in the ministry, was your father. Clearly, he discovered something very important and got taken out. That's why I need you. Slowly but surely, you're going to climb your way to the career ladder from the very bottom and shine a light in every one of the ministry's dark corners. So he's technically telling me that he's using me. Alright. Goodbye. So, you want, so we have to watch the television or check that out. Okay, so we have two things to do here. Let's start off with this one, I guess. No. Huh. And they all take time or money, apparently. The Walking Boreans TV series. Target audience, active young people, ministry employees. This will take me an hour. We could also do Passion of the Leader, a TV series. This is going to cost me money. Romantic girls and ministry employees. Is this going to be like information about people or what? Let's give it a try. Skill added. Know the characters from the Walking Boreans TV series. Why is that a skill? <laughs> okay. And the next thing we could do is Passionate Leader. It's gonna cost me 150. Let's do it. Oh, buy it and then view it. I see. Now we have knowledge about Passionate Leader characters. Oh, here we go. These are the skills right here. Know the characters from the Walking Boreans TV series and knowledge about Passion of Leader. So maybe this will probably open up more dialogues for us down the line. Like if somebody's talking about that, I could kind of like butt in and be like, Oh yeah, I know about that. And then kind of like drill them for information. I imagine that's how it's going to work out. What about this over here? Hmm. Okay. How to save state property in your skill. Picking crossbar locks. Oh, that's the book that I got. So we could read that. And we'll be able to pick crossbar loss in the case of me two tries, so let's do it. 150 hacking simple terminal password. That sounds very useful, so I'm going to pick that up. Read it once, twice, and that's all we can do here for today. So at this point, 
We still want to do get some more money to get how to run a tenant building in pictures new skill. Oh, we get a rent discount from that. Dude, this is like really in depth now. It's completely different from the first game. So do I go to sleep now? Yeah. And tomorrow we get the letter from Hemnitz. Okay. And here's tomorrow now. Perfect. Now Hamnitz did mention that he wants to talk about that letter, but it's got to be in a private area. We can talk to you. Go on, keep going. Let's greet him. Mr. Police Officer or Sir Buddy? <laughs> I don't think you'll like Buddy. Let's go with Sir. Sir, can you help me? The statutes of the police service state that a police officer on duty must be addressed as Mr. Police Officer. That's a fit. Oh, no! What are you... You ding-dong? I, I thought that sounded kind of silly, though. That costs nothing to... Alright, well, what if I ask him the right one now? Greed? Mr. Police Officer. What do you want? And conversation. Well, it cost me 50 coin, but at least we learned something important, I guess, right? Can I interact with that? No. We're good. Are you guys gonna beat somebody up today? No, no beating people up today, apparently. Alright, let's just go to work here and maybe we'll run into George and he'll give us like a meetup spot later. Oh, what the hell is happening here? Is this from the trailer? Dude, this is from the trailer. This is the wise leader. Dear compatriots and friends, we have all gathered here today, hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder, for a very special occasion. We want to reward someone. Our country is big, unique, and beautiful. We are united by common concerns and common pleasures. United by our long-standing traditions of rewarding worthy people in our circles of friends and wishing them the very best. We're talking about your colleague, Comrade Hemnitz. <gasps> The most vital thing is that we believe in ourselves, in our own strength, in our country. We work and we achieve many great things. I would like to sincerely thank you, dear friends, for your victories and achievements, your understandings and trust, and your genuine heartfelt concern of our great state. Today, each of us can become a little better. To do this, we simp- No, George! No! But he was a good guy! What did I tell you guys last episode? What did I tell you? To do this, we simply need to treat our parents with love and gratitude, give our children and family all of our attention and care, respect our colleagues, cherish our friends, defend truth and justice, be merciful, and help those in need of support. But most importantly, we must never betray the cause of the great nation. After all, each person will be rewarded according to their deeds. All hail our great state. Peace and prosperity to our great mother, land. I wish you happiness, health, and prosperity. Hurrah! Wow. That's disturbing. Hamnitz was hanged in front of me. I have to ask someone what's going on here. Magna Rakovic must know something. Oh, the lady who basically chewed my balls off last time? Oh, I'm sure she's gonna be a really big help. Dude, our boy had the letter from the father, too. Jeez. Well, if we thought this game was gonna be less morbid than the first one, uh, I think we got our answer already. Alright. Well, let's go over there and talk to Rakta, whatever her name is. I'm not sure if I should... Well, we should probably talk to her first and then we'll work afterwards. Oh, these people are talking back here. Ten minutes? Sure. And I told him, with that kind of reputation, I'd rather date a courier. And what did he say? He went off to earn some money, joined one of those punishment squads, those are... What do you call them? You know, spy hunters? You're such a heartless bitch. I know my work. It's not a nation of good people. <laughs> it's not a nation of good, kind-hearted people. Then again, living under this environment, I guess, a lot of people would stop being nice after a while, huh? Wow. We're in for a doozy. I'm not really sure how long this beta runs for, too, so... Obviously, the entire full game isn't here, so we're missing probably a couple of... story parts and, like, mechanics, but... I'm definitely looking forward to the full release now. 
Um, let's see. Oh, it's Peter Dung. Peter Dung, when are we going to talk about your awesome name, by the way? And to talk to you, I need 550 so we could do some trading, apparently. Okay. So, let's not work just yet. Let's go and talk to Rakovic first, and then we'll get some work done. Because we still need to get some money. Damn, baby, how you doing? Can we talk now? Nope. And I know your friend's going to be really angry. Slim Shady over here. Last time just yelled at me and told me to get the hell out of there. Young man, get in the line and wait. Well, we gotta wait, so... Fine, I'll wait. My turn. What do you want? Let's talk about Hemnitz. Hemnitz has been executed. You've come here just to tell me what everybody already knows. You're the only one I know in the whole ministry. All you need to know is who you answer to and where your workplace is. His debt only makes my job harder. Ask about the workload increase. Why is there such an increase in your workload? Hamnix is dead, meaning that he can't do his job and therefore must be fired. When an employee is fired, they have to send, they have to hand over their official seal and secret documents, sign the safety journal, bring the form saying they have no books from the ministry libraries in their possession, but most importantly, he did not hand over his pass. The security service must have his things. Go to the guard at the checkpoint. Say that I sent you. He'll give you Hemnet's things. Okay, that's the way to get the letter then. Perfect. So I guess talking to her was good after all. Now what? I'm good. Thanks a lot. So collect Hemnet's pass from lost and found. Mm, I mean, I guess we could probably do a little bit of work right now to get some money. But I don't necessarily want to lose the chance to get this. Plus, we might need some more time to get his things, because everything apparently is either time, money, or reputation. So let's come back here really quick and just figure out if we can grab the stuff first, and then we'll get some work here done. And we have to have enough time left over to as well to get back home and learn a couple more skills too. We can now pick locks, but now we also want to get that hacking password thing, which should help us get into some probably secure areas. This is where we keep employees lost and found stuff. Why are you searching this place? Well, um, I was told to by Magda whatever her name is. Magda Rakovic sent me. I came to get Hemnet's belongings. Take what's left. Left? Did someone come here to get it already? A colleague. Got a letter and left. No, that's what I'm looking for. What colleague? None of my business. Swell. So we got his pass at least. He didn't have time to turn it in. So we'll take the pass. Give the pass to Magda. But unfortunately now the letter which we're looking for is in the hands of somebody else. And with our luck, <laughs> that person probably won't be so helpful. And that person has a letter and there's some sort of like, you know, really sketchy stuff in that letter. And then I'm in trouble too. I'm hoping it's probably maybe James. Because we did have the option to write out George to James earlier. So maybe James picked it up. I'm not sure. Okay, here we are. Oh, I got to wait in line again? <laughs> well, it's a good thing I had some time saved up. Fine, I'll wait. Alright, lady. I got the pass. I brought you Heinet's pass. Give it to me! Now I can finally fire him. It's good that he didn't have any library books. They're very strict about that. Now his promotion allotment is free. His promotion allotment? He was to be transferred to another floor. And now that the position is vacant, every idiot's gonna be fighting over it. What are you doing here? Ask colleagues about the letter. Well, let's maybe hopefully get that option with her. Compliment her, talk about the weather, talk about the job, ask about the boss. Maybe we compliment her? Magda, you look wonderful. Save your compliments for fools like Emma Hazer. They have no effect on me. Uh, I didn't mean anything bad. Okay, well, unfortunately, that's not the colleague that we're looking to get that information. But she mentioned Emma. The problem is, who the hell is Emma? It'd be great if it was that tall chick. Oh, there she is. Are you Emma? Excuse me, ma'am. Good afternoon. Oh, that is Emma. Hello. Why haven't I seen you before? Well, you've seen me. You've just kind of blown me off every single time. I don't blame you, though. I've been kind of a peeping perv, so, you know, you have a right. I'm new here. My name is Evan. Emma Hazer, nice to meet you. What happened? Um... Ask about Hemnet's letter? Did you by any chance take any of Hemnet's things? No. That was a straight-up question, too. 
They didn't even slide it in there like out of nowhere. I just instantly, hey, did you do that? What happened? Let's ask about Hemnitz. What happened to Hemnitz? I can't talk about that, sorry. We need 50 points, we have them, let's do it. George helped me on my first day. I was just a surprise, he seemed like such a nice guy. And now he's gone for good. Nice guys have a hard time everywhere nowadays. Nice guys like George even more so. Why? He was too damn nice. Loved his wife and his kids, helped everyone, lent people money till payday, didn't meddle, didn't scheme. He knew who to, how to listen, made you feel at ease, you know? Not really. Why would you? You're a man. But women can sense that. He was just... good. I don't know how to explain it. Um, did he have any enemies at work? It's surprising for our viper's nest, but no. George managed to stay friends with everyone, even with Legrand. And he's a complete a-hole. Legrand, huh? Okay. Did he have any trouble in the ministry? Trouble? He was always the perfect employee. They held him up an example for the rest of us. What was he punished for? I don't fully understand, or rather, I do. You heard it yourself, but I don't believe it. But the ministry's never wrong. I guess I'm a bad judge of character. Okay, let's see about you. Legrand! There's the possible enemy. Ah, look what the cat dragged in. Eyes burning, chest all puffed out. This must be the newcomer the dealer departed Hemnitz was schlepping around the office yesterday. Do you know the most important thing you have to figure out during your first days in the office, rookie? What? It's who you are, buddy. Are you a wombat or a sun bear? Uh, I like the idea of being a sun bear? I'm a sun bear, whatever that means. So am I. Smart choice. We're small but highly dangerous. And we're dying a breed in this office full of wombats. I believe that predators should stick together to control the herbivore population. Okay. I'm Evan Redgrave. Redgrave? The son of Caleb Redgrave? Wow. I'm not sure whether I should keep you close or tell you to get lost. Why? Buddy, it's just your second day at the Ministry and there are already too many dead people around you. What do you want? What happened to Hemnitz? Did you see? I did, but I'm not sure I understand. There's nothing to understand. You might have failed to meet his quota or had problems with the boss. The main thing is that there's no more Hemnitz. Ask about the letter. Did you happen to see a letter in his hand? Oh, I think he did. Hemnitz asked me to take a letter from his belongings when he was being taken away. Where is it? Not so fast, buddy. I'm not your postman. Nobody pays me to deliver your mail. I have a great idea. Poor Peter Dong seems pretty upset about Hemnitz. He's even about to cry. And who are we if not sympathetic colleagues? I think we should try and cheer him up. Let's play a little prank on him. Us? Yeah. But you do the pranking and we both do the laughing. You want the letter, don't you? So let's get on with it. Take Dong for a ride, and it's yours. Fair and square. <laughs> Take Dong for a ride. That is priceless. Well, we need this letter, man. I guess we have to do it. My sense of humor isn't as refined or subtle as yours. Emotions are the key. Find Dong's weaknesses and take advantage of them. Refuse to prank, talk about the letter, talk about everything. So what about that letter? Didn't we have a deal? Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, so... Apparently, play with Dong's <laughs> Play with Dong's feelings. Fear, weakness, and passion. Alright, so before we do that, let's get a uh, work... At least one part of our job in here for today. Because, you know, we still gotta make money to pay rent. Tuesday, May 8th. So let's uh, move you out the way here for now. Bring the forms on in. The coach of our ternary handball team refuses to give reserve players a chance to get on the court during matches. He says he won't risk losing the game by letting armless guys play. But you know what? We think a few missing fingers here and there are no reason to be a bad sport. Your coach's name? Herman Martino. Our whole staff wants him to be prosecuted. So it's actually denunciation. Um... And what's the charge of the ministry? Um, culture and sports, right? Yeah. And then Tuesday is today, so let's see, 78, Tuesday available, let's do it. Got it. I have a complete register of the newborns in our district. Who should I hand it over to? So that's gonna be information. Um, social care? I think it's social care. 301, nope. 357, nope. 
390, yeah. You got it. And finally, Charles Stobert's bakery was selling cakes with the wise leader's face on them yesterday. It's an absolute outrage. Explain. What's there to explain? I can't even bring myself to say it. People are cutting and eating our leader. It's so unpatriotic and low, Stobert has to be arrested. So that's a denunciation, patriotism obviously, and 279. Alright, we got all of them this time. Perfect. So, let's step out. Oh, it says plan two of five. Hmm. Well, we got this done. Unfortunately, with the time, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. We'll come back next episode and um, talk to... Is that Peter Dong? That's Peter Dong right there. Talk to you, buddy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.